right, here we go, everyone. Welcome to Icarus. You know, I picked this game up a long time ago, back when it was first released, and I remember playing it and thinking to myself, man, this, need, this needs a little bit of work. Maybe I'll come back to this another time. Uh, well, I think that time has come because uh, the game just released a new update, and um, it's not really an update as much as it is a DLC, which adds a whole new world. And that world was um, a much higher difficulty than the one I'm in right now. This is just like the basic starter world. I need to kind of get my feet wet before I dive into something extremely difficult. So I'm just going to start collecting some branches and stuff, get some basic supplies, craft a couple of basic tools, and we'll get started exploring around here. I will say that the game looks fantastic. It definitely gives me the Sons of the Forest vibe there a little bit. All right, let's see if we can do some crafting now. Yes, stone axe, one of those, and a stone pickaxe after that. One of my favorite things about the game is just how satisfying resource collection is. The sound and just like the, the, the feedback that you get from hitting stuff and breaking it is great. Look at that tree, it's just stuck there. I gotta continue chopping it to get it into pieces. <laughs> That's so cool. And I think even better is the mining. How cool this is. Uh oh, we got some native wildlife running around here. What was that? Oh, um, it's some kind of a small mammal looking thing here. Okay, uh, well, I think I'm pretty limited. Oh, a wolf. Yeah, that's why that thing's running around. Okay, let's get away from that thing because I have no weapons. Yeah, we need to um, level up a little bit first so that we can get some skill points and unlock things like the bow. Here's some oxite right here. I think oxite just goes into my suit so that I can uh, breathe oxygen a little bit better. Let's check on that. So oxite goes into the oxygen slot and that will increase my oxygen level, I think. Okay, I've never been to this world before and I really don't know where I am. There's like a wolf howling out there somewhere. So um, I guess I'll just kind of start heading to... Well, when I was looking at the map when I dropped in, I, I was thinking to myself I wanted to go north. So let's just kind of skirt the mountainside here and see what we can find. I can make myself a berry and seed bar with some of the various things I've found today. Oh, there we go. I leveled up. Just picking some pumpkins there. Okay, and here's where things get a little bit crazy because uh, the tech system here in Icarus is just crazy. It, it would take hours to kind of learn all this stuff, and I'm looking forward to kind of figuring all that out. I'm going to start off, though, with a wooden bow and stone arrow, and I have two skill points remaining. So I'll go with a stone knife that'll help with, like, animal harvesting. And why don't we also go with a torch so that we can see what we're doing at night. Craft a bow, craft all the stone arrows that I can get, 20, that'll get us started, and a torch after that. Yeah, so far I'm, I'm very impressed with the sound quality of this game. So I'm currently playing in open world. Open world is just, you know, what it sounds like. You just kind of drop into the map and um, do whatever you want to do. There are also other play types, such as missions, which is where you drop in like we just did, and then you do a mission and then you kind of like just go back into space, I guess, <laughs> go back where you came from. And you can earn money that way, money that you can then use to, like, purchase items, like specialty items. Hey, there we go. Uh, but I haven't really investigated that too much, so I don't know quite what to expect there. I just want to do the open world thing, get my bearings, and we'll kind of take it from there. Let's go ahead and get that stone knife crafted and uh, harvest up this, what was this? It's like a pronghorn. Yeah, there we go. Pronghorn. Okay, there we go. And we can get uh, leather, fur, bone, meat, and stone. my stone arrow back. And uh, from what I've read, looking up a couple of guides here, I can just harvest up the bones there as well. So currently, I don't have the ability to build a base just yet. I need to level up some more and spend those points into unlocking things like the foundation and walls and windows and everything. So I guess... First of all, I'd like to select a building site. Really something with a good view is my only requirement. <laughs> I'm sure there's other stuff that goes into selecting a base site, like access to resources and safety, but I don't know how to determine those things, so I'll wing it for this one time. Okay, oxygen's ticking down to 74%, so maybe I'll stock up on some oxide. I could seriously just mine all day. <laughs> I love the mining in this. There we go. Drop it in there, and that should hopefully work. Yep, to increase my oxygen level. Gonna wrap it just right there. It can test out the arrow drop, kind of. Oop, got him. Hey. Uh, press J to open the field guide. Here we go. Bestiary. These are all the different animal types that are... I don't know if they're on, all on this map, or if they're scattered across... Oh my god, what is that? 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll sort that out here at some point. So I can actually carry him and drag him off somewhere, or I can just uh, harvest him up, I think. Okay, give me all that. We'll uh, cook up some dinner here at some point. Oh, and don't forget the bones. It's this stuff over here, this looks new. Sulfur and salt. I think I should maybe take some of this with me, or is that just gonna clog up the inventory? I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking this spot right here looks as good as any. Yeah, this is probably the best place I've seen so far, at least. Yeah, I think this is this little shelf right here it would be a great spot to set up a base right here. Perfect view. I love it. Okay, we just need to clear out the area and see if we can level up a little bit in the process. Relatively clear around here now. There's just trees everywhere. It looks like a hurricane ran through here. And I did level up in the process. Oh, also I have talents, right. Yes, there's a whole, th th yeah, there's like the tech tree and then there's the talent tree. Um, hello? Oh, rain, incoming storm, find a shelter to protect yourself. Great, okay, well, one little tip that I've learned along the way is that um, you can find a big enough boulder and then you can kind of burrow into it. This one's looking pretty beefy over here. Okay, let's see if I can just like kneel down and make a little bit of a tunnel in here. Okay, I've um, successfully tunneled in. Maybe I can also put my torch. I did make a torch, didn't I? Uh, I did, it's right here. Yes, and it's in the, the light slot. So if I hit L, there we go. Just light my torch and kind of hang out in here for a minute. And um, am I, do I have any sort of weather exposure? No, I think I'm safe here. I'm just kind of looking at the top right corner there. It looks like the weather is sort of ticking by from right to left and we're about to hit the red band, which is probably like the bad part where you need to be undercover. Anyway, I'll just stick around here for a minute and check out the talent system. So I think first of all, I want to go into Swift Survivor, that's increased movement speed. We'll go Robust Explorer, that gives me more health. And we'll do Ready to Work, that's uh, increased stamina regen. Just some basic skills here. I also have, I think, a solo skill point. So basically, this game is somewhat tailored to a co-op experience. And so the game kind of gives you a bonus if you're playing solo like I am. And so I do have one solo point to increase base stamina, movement, health, or melee damage. I'll go with uh, speed. And here we go, back to the tech tree here. Okay, we want to probably focus on, oh my God, there's tier one, two, three, four. Wow, man. This is quite the, the game here, isn't it? Wow. Okay, back to the primitive stuff so I can, uh, so my head doesn't explode here. Yeah, we want to do, um, what, what is it, like foundations and building materials? Here we go, thatch building base set, or wood building base set. We'll go with, I think, thatch. That, yeah, that's gonna unlock all of the thatch items. So we'll unlock that. Oh my goodness, the trees are falling down. I do think I'm okay though, just sitting here, and I think the storm is about to pass. Okay, I think the worst of it is over, wow. That did some serious damage out here. I'm very thirsty though. I I don't remember how to get water. Probably just gonna head down to the watering hole here. See if I can just slurp some into my mouth. Is that how this works? Yep, hold after drink. There, there, yep, that's good. Okay, good, but we're still hungry. And I don't think I unlocked the campfire, did I? Let's just do that so that I can at least cook some food. Campfire, one more point left. Let's go with basic Bandage. I think that's probably a good move and maybe see if I can craft some of those to start off with. Here we go. Give me like five of those. All right, let's see if we can do a little bit of thatch construction over here. All right, I'm just looking in my inventory and it looks like some of this is like spoiling. You can see the, the red kind of ticking down on them. So I'm gonna eat a little bit of this food. Okay, the raw meat. I'm gonna have to cook that though. Pumpkin, consume that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to consume quite a bit of stuff here before it goes sour on me. Okay, I've uncluttered the inventory a little bit. Let's go with just something simple for now. Four beams. We'll do like four walls and a couple of roof pieces probably. And just like that, I think the storm has passed. I got a deer here, a large deer that's just begging for an arrow. 
Uh, just as I said that, he got away. All right, I think I have the makings of a basic shelter here. So let's try to do something with this stuff. Okay, I've, it's been so long. <laughs> Give me a second here to sort this out. So we'll have one corner maybe right there. And then, yeah, there are snap points. So how about we kind of string it right across like this? And then we drop a foundation piece on top. Am I doing this right? Looks right. To Oh, uh, so it turns out I maybe I didn't need that many foundation pieces. Okay, there's a two by three shelter there. That looks very weird. I'll put some more foundation pieces in there eventually. Let's work on a wall system here. Although, okay, so we've got some options here on the right side. Variance. If I just press... Oh, if I hold R, there we go. Okay, we want, yeah, we want a definitely a big window here in the middle. And I, yeah, I think the arrow is indicating the outside. So, oh, in that case, yeah, we want this one, that one. That looks pretty cool so far. A, a regular wall on this corner. Maybe this is where I'll put my bed so we have a little bit of, you know, privacy over here. Gonna need six more wall pieces. All right, there we go. We've got four walls and a door. Now we just gotta work on a rooftop. Oh, nice, that looks pretty cool from outside too. So I guess, I wonder if I can just upgrade this to wood and stone and steel or whatever else we can craft out of. Yes, okay, so we want like four of these angled pieces and then I guess six of these roof pieces. Okay, we also get variants on this too. So we could, we could really make this like steep roof or I think presumably we could do like a smaller gabled style roof like that. I'll stick with this one though. Oh, I see there's like a left and right. Okay, yep. There we go. Oops, nope. <laughs> there, there we don't go. How do I undo that? I guess I just chop it down manually. Seems to be working. There we go. That's better. All right, all right. Is that is that correct orientation for the rooftop? I think it is. One, two, three. The snap points are a little bit wonky. It's gonna take some getting used to here with all the the angles and such. What's going on? There we go. One, two, three, and my goodness, I have a shelter. Nice, just keep the fire away, please. Oh, what is that? Is that a horse? I'm not sure if it's hostile or not. It's a Teridus. Oh, oh, oh geez, oh, he's hostile. No, 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 please, no. Okay, I don't, I don't suppose he can swim, can he? Can I swim? I don't know. Here we go. Oh, wow. He can swim. Oh boy. This is bad. Really bad. Oh crap. It's terrifying. Oh my god, I killed him underwater. I'm pretty sure I can breathe underwater because I've got the whole, you know, oxygen spacesuit on here. Okay, can I, can I work underwater? I can. I feel bad for doing this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Now we know at least. We've also got some fish in here. There's a whole fishing system and everything, man. I can't wait to get into that. Oh no, I... Oh, my item is broken. Okay, I was gonna stab that fish there, but okay, repair the knife there first and try it again. Yep, got him. Pick him up. Okay, we can maybe... We got some fish chunks and some bone off of that. I think it's time for a campfire. Oh crap, a wolf! Ah, back to the water! Okay, two headshots did it for that guy. All right, let's try this again. It's kind of getting late here too. Whoop. Yeah, let's see here. Campfire, craft, getting a little bit dark here. Let's just hit the L button and um, turn some lights on here and we'll set ourselves down a campfire. Ah, see, I don't know if I can put it inside. I'm pretty sure like buildings and uh, like trees and everything can catch on fire, so. I'm just gonna be careful about that. Right, okay, this is all new to me. Suppose we'll start with some fuel. Activate. Nope, hang on, I just put it into the inventory and now it is cooking the pumpkins into pumpkin grilled, grilled pumpkins. Which, in fact, uh, gives you two and a half times as much food to, to do it that way, so that's nice. Go ahead and consume some of that. Good, I'm gonna just toss the raw meat on the fire. Yeah, we'll get a whole chain of stuff going on here. Fish. I'll we'll have some grilled carrots, nice. It's even giving me charcoal back. Probably some sort of a crafting ingredient. Okay, I'm stuffed. Oh, there's my uh, my meat, it's just sitting on the stick there, I love that. I do need to get some oxide though, I'm a little bit low on that. And by a little bit, I mean like probably critically low. We need to kind of figure this out quickly. Yeah, oxygen low, oh boy. 
Okay, good. I found some. And we know the drill here. Just toss the oxide into the oxygen container and that will slowly diffuse into my suit, I think. Okay, good. I just leveled up doing that too. Level three now. That gives me four blueprint points and a trait point as well. Right, let's double check on the fire. Probably the, the meat here is going to spoil eventually. I think storage is a problem. I was looking at the, the blueprint, the tech tree here. There is a small wood crate here. I think we're going to have to start building a few of those. <laughs> this is hilarious. Discovered in prehistory, the fire whacker represents an effective, if unsophisticated, tactic. Attack the flames until they surrender. <laughs> so I guess that's how you put your building out if it catches on fire. Okay, a bedroll. That seems like it would be something to have. It's 100% sleep quality. Good. Oh, yes, because you can just pass time by sleeping in the game. A drying rack. I think I'm satisfied with the fireplace for now. And an oxidizer. I don't know what this is. It's some sort of a... It captures the oxygen that leaves the oxide. I'll build one of those and figure it out. And with my last point, let's go with a uh, basic fishing rod. I'd like to test out the fishing system. And for talents, I only get one. Let's take a combat perk and just go into quick load for the bow and crossbow. That'll help us reload a little bit faster. Okay, there's my oxidizer thing. I'm going to add, I don't know, five oxide to it for now and we'll kind of see what happens. I can hear like a little gas type of noise coming from it. I need some fur to get a bedroll. Okay, it's pretty dark, but I'll try to do some hunting. Oh my goodness, look at the night sky. There's some kind of a planet up there that's just stunning. Oh, there's a level three Terranus over here. I can just make a buck and mostly just hear him. Let's try to do a stealth kill on him. Well, success, but he ran off. Okay, whoa, <laughs> he's got a baby. Ah, crap. I feel bad now. Ah. Whoa, he's hurting me. Ow. Whoa, I, I killed him. Okay, okay, that's good. There's, um, there's a, his babies over there too, I think. Whew. Okay, that was a bit of a rush there. Whew. Here we go. Hopefully this has the fur that we need. Whoa. Okay, this is not a horse. <laughs> this thing has massive teeth. Yeah, look at the friggin monstrous tusks on this thing you know you know like boar have tusks though that's mostly for like foraging right all right this knife is garbage i have to repair it after every activity oh and that wasn't even the fur that we what okay so those things have no fur maybe i need to kill a deer instead now uh, you know what it, it would stand to reason that fur is probably going to come from the wolf and hide is going to come from the horses and deer that rabbit up there might have some fur got him okay oh yes good for two fur Try my luck on this level 26 large deer. If I can ever see him. There he is. Oh, jeez. Ah, no. A horse attack. Okay, he's a slightly higher level than what I'm used to. He's down, though. Yeah, just getting leather off these guys. I'm sure that'll come in handy someday, though. All right, well, I'm discovering that hunting at night is kind of difficult, so I think I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to kind of wait out the night. Maybe see if I can get some storage crafted. Yeah, I can do that, because I can just uh, get some of the wood that I chopped down earlier, which probably has all just disappeared by now. Okay, I got just a handful of small storage containers, which I will set right here by the door. Oh, I get a little bit of a rotation option there. It's kind of nice. Oh, those are a little bit larger than I thought, actually. Yeah, that's taking up a lot of room. Okay, how much can you hold? Really not much, but I have a whole bunch of just clutter in the inventory, so I gotta, I gotta do something with all this stuff. Spoiled plants, don't need that. Okay, the food goes bad even when it's on the fire. The cooked meat is almost completely, or at least one of them is partially spoiled. All right, I suppose turn out the fire if we're not using it. Button this place up, and I don't know, I guess I'm sleeping on the floor for tonight. Oh, jeez. I've... I've made a friend here at night. Oh, boy. It's another one of these stupid horses. Ah! Kill the baby! Oh! Holy crap. Okay, stay inside. And... Oh, there's something else out there. Oh, she's broken out! My door! Get back! Okay, any second I'm out of arrows. I'm out of arrows. Run into the water and... Quickly, underwater, craft as many arrows as I can. Max, craft, run! Swim, whatever. Okay, yep. <laughs> it, it occurs to me that torches don't work underwater now. The bow and arrow certainly does, though, it seems. Jeez, turn the light back on and kill the baby. I have no sympathy for these things anymore. Okay, I am slowly taking some damage from something. How do I figure out what that is? I am poisoned. Venom slowly drains my health. Counter with anti-venom or wait it out. Well, 
<laughs> for the next 130 seconds, I don't think I have much of a choice. It's okay, by eating some meat, it appears that the meat will give me some health. It will give me food. It also increases my my regeneration and my maximum health. So it's it's pretty pretty good stuff. You know, who who'd have thought that, right? Food is good for you. Well, it's um it's breaking morning. I couldn't figure out how to sleep or anything last night, so I'm exhausted. But uh, let's just do some uh, casual fishing over here and pass the time while my the poison runs through my veins. Okay, that was a weak cast. Let's maybe uh, get a little bit of practice in. Not sure if there's any sort of bait. Oh, here we go. That's gonna be a good cast. Look at that. Halfway into the lake. Okay, the poison has run its course. Now we just wait. Okay, whoop. Oh, jeez. I... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, okay, there's a mini game to this, I see. One more try then. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Nice, oh, 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 losing him. Okay, I'm just trying to keep this other bar on top of the fish for the mini game, and I got it. Sweet. Yeah, that there might be thumbnail worthy, actually. Nice. All right, buddy, on to the fire you go. I think that'll hopefully turn him into a cooked spotted snapper. Oh, I see here, convert to chunks. That uh, took a second, but yeah, I've got a, a pile of roughly diced fish, which I'll toss onto the fire. There we go, it's cooking now. Wow, cool, this game is actually way funner than I thought it would be. I'm gonna do some more fishing, see if I'm a master fisherman or if that was just a beginner's luck there. Oh, this one, it's a spotted snapper again. Quality is 27, I'm starting to see some, you know, more information is on the screen. There we go. Another snapper. It says a better fish caught, too. Okay, so my, my fried fish chunks are done. I'm not sure if this stacks, like the, the buff from that stacks, because if you look at the lower left corner down there, you can see there's a timer ticking down now. It also looks like my health bar, It's like, it's got like the full health bar, then it's got like two segments next to it. One of those might be the consumed meat, and the other one might be the consumed fish. Still got some learning to do on this whole thing. Okay, but uh, back to the task that we left off on, and that was finding some fur for a bedroll. Doesn't seem like the most pressing thing here, first thing in the morning, but I'd like to knock it out while I can. Hey, there we go, just leveled up. That gave me a new talent, two new talent points, and I believe one new solo point. I'm gonna go with Fleet Footed. I think, you know, movement speed in any game is way better than everything else. Okay, for my talent though, yeah, let's maybe just try to go into archery a little bit more. Kind of double down on this as my primary skill here. Sure, let's go with bow agility, and then we'll do another point into quicker reload. And for the tech tree, I thought, isn't there a bone arrow, which is uh, required level five? Okay, so maybe next time. Oh, how about some armor though? Armor might not be too bad. Chest, foot, and arms. All right, what do I need to craft those? Just fiber, okay, that's like really simple stuff there. What about the chest piece? Just more fiber. Okay, so that, yep, that went straight onto my character. Yeah, who needs head armor when you have a spacesuit helmet? I'm sure that should be able to withstand a little bit of punishment. Okay, having a look at the map here. So that's where I dropped in. This is my current location right over here. Yep, so that's our, like, house location. Let's do some exploration. I know that there's caves and such around here. I'd like to just kind of go see what we're dealing with around here. Okay, I've brought some food with me, some cooked food, so we're good on that. We should probably hydrate before we go. Incoming storm, great. Okay, just as I'm trying to head out, now we've got to hunker down for the storm. Uh, maybe I'll do some hunting while I'm at it. Oh, there's a wolf right there. That should have the fur that we need, I would think, just as that storm is rolling in. Oh, sneak attack for the kill. Okay, tell me that's, it's a little bit of fur. Not very much. I, I think we're still gonna be short on the 20 that we need for the bedroll. Oh, there's another one right here, though. Yeah, just right through the bushes. I knew he was there somewhere. Okay, grab all that. And I'm also noticing I have some sort of an infection right now. Oh, dysentery, great. That's less nutrition from food. Okay, the storm is rolling in. Let's head inside and hope that, hope that this is enough here. That doesn't look right right there, does it? We need a support column over there. Yep, how about... Oh, jeez, finicky. There we go. <laughs> Almost. I never did quite figure out what this thing is doing here. All right, my, my storm exposure is getting kind of bad. Let's try to get another door onto the shelter here. Oh, rabbit! <laughs> Come here! 
Got him. There we go. That might be what we need for the fur there. Repair the knife and quickly get inside before the worst of the storm arrives. New door in. All right. In fact, that was enough to get the bedroll crafted. Okay. Very nice. Ooh, very small. Oh, we're taking some damage in here. Okay. Yep. Just set that bedroll down so I can figure out what I'm, what's going on here. Oh, yeah. This place is not holding up too well. Oh, boy. Oh, man. How do I do repair? I don't... I don't... Do I need a hammer or something? I saw that there was a hammer in here somewhere. Wood hammer. Yep, that's a repair hammer right there. Okay, so we will need to unlock that the next time around or else, you know, our place is gonna collapse. Okay, I think the worst of the storm has passed. So am I going to get storm exposure out here? I do a little bit, but it's about to stop. Right, let's, uh, let's do some exploration to the north today. Okay, I've made it a little ways. I think we're heading into a snowy area, but I just heard what I could only describe as most likely a bear noise. I was gonna see if I could go around and, and get up on that little ledge there. I cannot. There's also a wolf up here. There he is. Okay, I did see some animals back there. Maybe it wasn't a bear. It was a... What is that? Okay, looks hostile. It has a baby, so... I'm going to assume hostile. It is a Moa. Okay, just sneak down. He doesn't need to see me. Oh, and then that's the bear I heard right back there. Let's see if I can just do some parkour on the ledge over here and get around him. Okay, well, let's just have make a mental note that he's there because that is the way home. The only way home. Uh, silica ore. Guess I'll take a little bit of that with me. Oh, wheat. This is wheat. We could probably cook this at some point. Wow, you know, grind it in the flour and cook the flour. It's a decent way of getting XP. I'm trying to level up more because I feel like the only thing holding us back right now are the, the blueprint points. Maybe that's the trick in the early going. You just gotta harvest resources. Getting into the higher elevations, it seems. Snow rabbit. Oh, look at this. I'm collecting ice. I was wondering what that outline was there. Press F and then you get ice and then you get a wolf. Oh, geez. Take that and that. Oh, geez. Run. Ow. Okay. Maybe less running and more fighting. There we go. Oh, and level up. Nice. Phew. The combat is fast and furious in this one. Pretty sure I have another wolf here somewhere. I can hear him. Oh, a whole pack of them. Oh, ho, ho. I see how it is around here. Luckily, I don't think they know how to get up to me. Looks like we'll be eating wolf meat for the next few days. Oh my god, there's more. There's four now. Okay, all four are down. Ow! Oh, I just broke a leg. Well, sprained a leg. And I have a bleeding wound. Oh boy, yes. Get the bandages out. There we go, I think. Crap, what do we have over there? Oh, it's a, it's a rabbit. Oh boy, a boar. Oh, hi there. You're welcome to the uh, the meat there if you <laughs> if you happen to be carnivorous. Oh boy. Ow. Jeez. Everything's dangerous around here. I think I want to go home. Okay, take the meat. Jeez, I can still hear animals breathing around me. All right. Well, we know that the meat is good for eating, so eat that. Get rid of the watermelon seeds. Raw bacon. Oh, bro. Oh, totally worth it to come out here then. Yeah. Oh, it's another pack. It's a whole pack of wolves. Okay, I guess we're leaving. Hopefully. Uh, they might chase me down. I'm not sure. It's, whoop. Yep. Health is very low. Dying for sure. Okay, I'm, I think I'm outpacing them. I might have lost them. Maybe if I'm lucky. Okay, I'm, I'm bleeding. I think it's probably time to use a bandage. No, oh, don't drop it. Crap. What do I do here? Uh, consume. Good. And, um, quickly just eat some meat. Uh, eat something. I don't know. That's raw meat. Where did all my cooked meat go? It probably spoiled. Oh, boy. Oh, no, the cooked meat. Right there it is. Okay, it's in my inventory. I forgot I put it down there. All right, well, I think food is the best first aid, so I'm just gonna consume all of the meat that I have here to get my hit points back. And I think I'll, uh, probably head home until I can get some better weapons, and then we'll brave the snow biome again. Remember, though, there's a bear around here somewhere, and that looks like a bison or something. Yo, buffalo, I guess. Oh, okay, I just stumbled up on this deep mining ore deposit coal. I can be- I can drill this with some mining equipment. Okay, just leveled up again after killing that wolf. So that's two skill points now, so I should have a whole bunch of stuff to go through here. Uh, this is kind of right where the bear was before, though. 
<laughs> I don't feel safe, like, just sitting here looking at menus right now. Okay, home sweet home. Let's start off by doing some cooking here. Okay, now I can relatively safely go through the points over here. Wooden hammer, we'll need that. In fact, before I go any further, let's craft one and see how that all works. Okay, here, okay, here we go. It's, whoops! What do I do? I see. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> Just as I finish repairing, there's another storm incoming. We have six more points. Let's go bone arrow, bone knife, suture kit sounds good, wood base building materials, medium storage, and cloth leg armor, I guess. And for my talent points, we'll go with, um, I don't know, increased wood and increased inventory weight capacity. And let's go with uh, one more into my base movement speed. Did I get any solo points? I did increase base stamina by 20. And oh yeah, the storm is in full force now. I guess I'll just do the repairs as everything is breaking. And tomorrow I'd like to get this all upgraded to wood. Okay, it's a fresh new day. I did weather the storm relatively well. I did actually, I lost a storage, but luckily the items kind of dropped out of it and I just moved them over into... Well, I haven't moved them here yet, but I can move them into this storage on this side, this medium storage. Okay, oxygen levels are low. Drop some oxide into this. I lost my oxide thingy over here, although honestly, I don't really know how that was working anyway. Because once the balloon begins to fill, consume oxygen from it directly. Maybe we should try and make another one of those. They're kind of expensive, but I can kind of put it inside now that I know it will be damaged. All right, we'll give it another try. Set it down right there. Hey, look at that. We got some cooked bacon on the fire now. I think I'll have some of that for breakfast. Why not? Okay, so here's the test. I have the hammer. I'm not... Whoops, I, I no longer have the hammer. Give me that back. If I have the hammer... Okay, that didn't do anything. What if I make a wood wall? Okay, with the wood wall in the inventory, let's try that again. Also does nothing. Oh, right there. Lower right corner, select upgrade type to... Oh my goodness, clay brick... Scoria brick, wood, interior wood, concrete, thatch, aluminum, glass, wow. That's a lot of good building materials here. So let's go with wood. I have, whoops. Oh, that worked. And that, um, oh, interesting. That actually gave me the thatch wall back into my inventory. So I can destroy that and I get my fiber back. Okay, let's, um, let's get some wood then. All right, I've just gathered up as much wood as I can carry, also ran out of oxygen, and I did notice that um, there was a debuff here a second ago that said low oxygen, negative 10% experience gain. But I should be good enough now to craft uh, the replacement pieces that we need here. So I should need nine wooden walls, four of the angled wall, six floor, six roof, and one door. And then I guess same thing. So we select wood, right click and then just go to town on this. Wow, that's actually really satisfying and a, it's a good system there. And the door, okay, of all things, the wood door doesn't appear to be working, but I can just rip it off and replace it. Nice. Suppose I should redo the foundation pieces, the pillars here. Okay, I think I got all the beams properly placed so that they, whoop, one more there, so they properly sit into the ground. You can't have floating things around here. <laughs> it's just not natural. Oh, what if I put a beam here? Does that, is that gonna confer any extra sort of benefit to me? I have no idea. Looks better, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to town on the beams just cause they look cool. All right, well, there is my humble little structure here. One thing I wanted to try here, and that is... Oh, wait. Variants? Can I do... Stairs. There we go. Can I put a little staircase there on the front? Doesn't... <laughs> not gonna serve much function, but it's there. Ah, man, it looks so nice in here. Okay, I need to figure out... Wait, press F to consume the oxygen. Okay, so the balloon is bigger now. Consume the oxygen. There might be a little bit left in there, too. Oh, you know what? If I could just get the angle right there on the right side, it does have a sort of like a, a radial dial there that shows me how much oxygen is left in it. Good to know. Oh, look, it's like it, it's expanding every time I put it in. I see now. All right, we'll fill it up. And I guess that's maybe a more efficient way to get 
oxygen now, maybe? As far as these thatch things go, I think I'm just gonna destroy all of them and get the materials back. I don't think I'll be doing any construction out of them. It's just too high maintenance with all the storms in the area. Yeah, I've crafted up my new bone knife. And comparing the stone arrow, it's 31 to 35 projectile damage, whereas the bone arrow is almost double and a far lower percentage to break and increased critical damage. So this is the way to go here. Give me 13 of those. Okay, I crafted up another batch there up to 33. The stone arrows I'll get rid of. I made myself a suture kit. I'll throw that down on the hot bar. And I said, <laughs> now's as good a time as any just to get some sort of an inventory organization system going. Okay, so I think that'll just about do it. I have like a food and farming sort of chest over here and a resource chest over here. Just got rid of the little ones because they uh, they're just not worth it, I don't think. Got my oxygen collector here, bedroll, house. Yeah, I think we're off to a great start here. I just wish I could level up a little bit more quickly. I'll have to kind of think about ways I can get more skill points. Whoa! Are you being chased? Oh crap, I'm sick again. Contaminated water has given me the runs. Oh, so I'm not supposed to just drink water out of the lake, I guess. So that kind of begs the question, how am I supposed to be getting water? Maybe there's, I'm supposed to research a canteen here somewhere. No, I suppose I'm, I'm doing it the right way because water skin is actually a tier two item and that will require level 10. Oh geez, along with all kinds of cool stuff. Iron Age equipment, cooking station, salting station, stove, ice box, skinning bench, steel spear, hammer, steel arrows. Oh my God, obsidian gear, fishing traps, a whole bunch more first aid items. Jeez, oh, it just keeps going and going. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> this is crazy. And tier three is equally expansive. My God. And tier four as well. Oh, tier four is like titanium gear, titanium crossbow, machete. Wow, this, there's there's a lot to offer in this game. I can't wait to kind of explore it some more. But I think I'm gonna have to leave it off right here for this one. And uh, we'll pick things up in a couple of days in uh, episode two. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey. And I will see you hopefully in the next video. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.